These four men charged in a brazen jewelry store heist at the town center. A tip from a city a thousand miles away helped investigators nab three of them within seconds of the robbery. Today we learned the FBI in Detroit alerted the bureau here to keep watch over the Jared jewelry store because of a crime that could happen there soon. And that's how investigators were able to swoop in so quickly last night and arrest three of the men accused of smashing jewelry cases with hammers. News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Pigot joins us live from the town center. And Jim, what led the FBI to suspect this smash and grab robbery was a possibility? Well, it's because similar type robberies have occurred at other Jareds across the country. And as you mentioned, particularly in Michigan, that's why JSO SWAT team and the FBI were out by this Jareds when they got that tip. News for Jax was there as three of the men arrested in the robbery appeared in court. 29-year-old John Davis, 30-year-old Tristan Murphy, both from Detroit, and 28-year-old Delano Ross. A fourth man, Devin Newby, also of Detroit, was picked up in Camden County, Georgia. When the robbery went down, many wondered why police were able to nab them so quickly. It turns out FBI agents and JSO SWAT were staked outside at Jarrett's because of an alert sent by FBI agents in Michigan. They were told there was a group of people in North Florida targeting Jarrett jewelry stores. Similar crimes occurred in Michigan and other parts of the country. The method, the same. Go in just after closing, smash the counters with hammers, and take off with jewelry. Though this time, they didn't get far. JSO SWAT team members were outside. So I came up here to Jared's trying to talk to some of the employees or the manager to see exactly what happened and how all of this went down. So I went inside, and well, obviously they didn't want to comment at this point, but they're back open for business. I saw the display cases were all operational. There was no smash glass anywhere. So they said that they're glad to be back open. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says this crime raises a lot of questions. You know, the crazy thing about this situation is that they're very brazen. They didn't care who was in there. They didn't know whether or not someone was in there armed, if there was a security officer there uh, in plain clothes or even in uniform. They just went in brazenly with hammers and started wreaking havoc in that particular business. They took a very big chance at not becoming a victim. You know, while we were in court, those three men sat together and the judge told them they can't talk to each other. That's part of the condition here, though they're being held without bond and their next court appearance will be in July. We're live from the town center, Jim Pigott, Channel 4. The